Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I've got. Um, so I've seen this. Uh, I've not had it before. I've had the cheese and ham, but I've not had this. Snacks to Piri Piri uh, Chicken Panini. 155 grams. Uh, look at the serving suggestion. Ready in under three minutes. Uh, and it's got a one chilli rating, says mild. And it was one pound and 70 pence, so I'm going to have to get it, you know. I'm going to have to try it, because I've not had it. It's not new. It's been out a while, but I've not had it, so it's new to me. <laughs> so let's have a look, see what we've got. So there is some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. Um, so was it per... Panini as consumed, 459 calories. And next to it are all the ingredients. If you want to have a look at them, by all means, a few allergens. We've got egg and milk in there, haven't we, in bold? Quite a few E numbers I've noticed as well, look. Um, so it's a bar marked panini filled with cooked um, chicken pieces and mature cheddar cheese in a spicy peri, peri, peri style sauce. So what's, where's the chicken? Let's have a look, see if you can see it. It's got palm in there as well. Palm rapeseed, look, I know that's not great, is it, for the environment? So where's the chicken? Um, peri Peri chicken filling, 45%. Uh, and that is that, look. Um, so there's the cooking instructions there, look. Um, all cooking appliances may vary in performance. These are guidelines only. Cook times may vary. Check products piping hot throughout before serving. Cook from frozen, which this is. Um, Pre-oven, you do it in the oven, look, or you can do it in the microwave. Mine's going in the microwave. So we'll see what this is all about. Um, I don't know when this video will be going out, but I'm going live on Friday night and I've got a new camera. Um, a brand new camera. I bought it yesterday and I'm going to use my good lady's laptop with it. So any teething problems, uh, I do apologise in advance. <laughs> At eight o'clock Friday night, so please do join me. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got a new quiz book as well, a uh, new food and drink, and I'm gonna get some beer in. And you can ask me any question you want. I'll try and answer it as truthfully and honestly as I can. Loads of lovely new foodies who've joined the channel. I do appreciate you all joining. Uh, and it's the time to, um, you know, to ask me what you like. You know, um, I'll try and answer it. <laughs> so let's get this open and see what we have got. Oh, see what we got here. Oh, there we are. This is that. There's the bar marks. Look. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll bring you back when it's done. Where, however, um, means possible, I decide to where uh, cook it or warm it up, and I'll let you know. So it's done, um, it smells okay like, it smells quite lemony to be honest. Um, if this is your sort of uh, review, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, well, subscribe. <laughs> it's free. You don't get much free these days, do you? Let's be honest. And leave a comment, let me know um, what you think of these. I I've done the review on the ham and cheese and that was okay, that was, that was not bad. I did that in the in the air fryer. I think it was about twenty odd minutes, and it was uh, nice and crisp. The, um, the 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 top of the bun was all crisp. I've done this in the microwave, and there's a bit of a procedure. But we'll have a look at it, and then I'll talk you through the microwavable procedure. <laughs> so this is that look. Um, so it's obviously it's not going to be crisp, is it? Because it's been done in the microwave. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. This is that. Have a look at that. Uh, I'll take the lid off as well so we can see what we've got in it. Uh, and there is all the chicken there, look. And there's a bit on there. So it, it, it does look like it's got a fair whack of chicken in, to be honest. I've just done a pie recently, um, a luxury um, rib rib pie. And wow, there's not a lot of uh, filling in that one. There's a lot of sauce, but not a lot of filling. Um, so what was I going to say? Yes, the procedure of cooking it in the microwave or warming it up in the microwave. It come in like a bag. You've got to cut the ends of the bag off. 
And then you do it in the microwave for one minute and 20 seconds. Uh, upside down though, you have to sort of do it upside down and then you take it out after one minute 20 out of the bag, put it back in the right way up on a microwavable plate and cook for a further one minute and then it is done as it is here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, cut it open, I'm gonna get into it. So let's get this chopped in half. And let, we can get into it like, you know. Um, so it's got a soggy bottom. It's gonna have a soggy bottom with all that filling in. It's going everywhere as well, look at that. But at the end of the day, it's, how long was it? Two minutes and 20 seconds, you know, to get something in your grid. Something that looks, you know, look, if you, you've got to like Piri Piri, let's be honest. If you don't like it, then forget it. Mm. Mm. It was quite citrusy, that, um, that Piri Piri. The bun is very soft, very soft. But it's going to be, it's been in the microwave, sort of steaming in the bag. Because it was frozen. But that sauce is not too bad. It's not too bad, that sauce. I don't I don't mind it like, um, I mean, you could pimp it up and I'm going to pimp this bit up. I'm going to put some proper Piri Piri sauce that I got from a lovely gift sent to me from Scotland, from John. But it come from Portugal, the sauce. So I'm going to show you. So there it is. Look, let me see if I can, it'll focus in on this. Uh, what I'm using now is my um, my, my my camera. Uh, I know I'm using my camera, sorry, my phone. <laughs> that is my phone on camera, video mode. <laughs> mm. Mm, I quite like that. Mm. I mean, there's loads in it, let's be honest, the ingredients, it wouldn't fit on my arm. <laughs> but anyway, let's get some of this sauce on, I'll show you what I'm going to put on. So there, I'm going to put some of this on, look, um, this was sent to me from, it came from Portugal, via Scotland, and it's the oil, the proper Piri Piri oil. Um, I haven't mentioned the chicken, it's because it's a bit lost in the bun, to be honest. Because the bun is so big, the panini, sorry, is so big, you can tell the, the chicken texture's in there, but it's lost, really, because it's such a dense, compact bun. God, this sauce is hot. It's just a bit on my hand, then. You don't need a lot of that, like, to be honest. God, it's red hot. It really is red hot. I mean, t tongue's burning. God. So there we are. gonna be on fire mm. 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 oh that is gorgeous it's lovely I mean I think I might have gone in my eye got to be careful with that, that um, oil, very careful. You just Sometimes you don't know you've got it on you and you just go to scratch yourself and that, that that's it, you've got to go wash your eyes out like, <laughs> or wash something else if you've been to the toilet. I mean, <clears throat> these are £1.70, I think I said, but I mean, you know, I mean, could you make it yourself for cheaper? Um, a lot of hassle involved, isn't there? But, you know, if, if you're working on a night shift or a day shift or whatever and you're on your, you're on your quick break, 10 minutes or whatever you get, just pop it, pop it in the microwave. They are, these all serve a purpose, don't they? They really do. I quite like that one, I'll be honest. I quite like it. And if I was, you know, I always take condiments wherever I go and you just pimp stuff up, don't you? I've always done that, really. I always add to it to improve the flavour. At the end of the day, it's £1.70. It's not going to be called on blur cooking, is it? Let's be fair, or Michelin star. So you've got to do these things on with cheap dishes. To just make them a bit tasty and that's just the way it goes 
so that's uh, I'd say that's it. it's a good seven and a half out of ten, and I probably would buy it again. Yeah, probably an eight out of ten actually. It's not bad. I quite like it. So thanks for watching. You got this far? Doff me cap. I'm going live Friday night. I don't know when this video is going out. Friday night, eight o'clock. Please join me. We'll have some fun. That's what it's all about. Let our hair down and enjoy ourselves. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so thank you very much. Take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.